Welcome to The Solution, a podcast where we put two chairs together, myself and my esteemed guest, Kimberly Childs, Hello. right? Putting the consumer first, and a lot of things that we're talking about today, why they're putting the consumer first is because it, well, the way you grow your business mm -hmm. is by putting the consumer first and doing things that's better true. for them, and when you do it better for them, you happen to make more money, and that's yes. what we're after. So. Kimberly, I wanted to, so we're here to give them the top five things to kick off their career for new agents to have their best year ever, whether you're a new agent, as the title insinuates, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or if you didn't have a great year last year and you'd like to have a better year this year, whether you just wanted to have your best year ever, whether you're switching markets, it doesn't matter, right? These things yeah. can happen no matter whether you're like, is it, this stuff works in Orlando, Florida, right? Oh, it does. It works everywhere. Right. Just gotta apply it. Just gotta apply it. All right. So we got Kimberly, who's off to her best year ever. Ever. Ever, right? So top year, I think you did a little close to eight million in your best year ever. Maybe you even get to double digits this year with your <laughs> success, which yes. would be awesome, right? Your what did you say? Your sixth or seventh year in the business? Yes, going into my seventh year. Awesome. Good deal. All right. Yeah. So let's recap. Um, so number one was given to us by Sharon. Number one was get a mentor, meaning because you're going to need leads, you're going to need local area expertise, mm -hmm. you're going to need brand, you're going to need support. You want somebody to answer the phone when you reach out, yeah, right? Definitely. So number two was flexibility. It's not a nine to five job, but then also that means unfortunately sometimes Saturday night at six o'clock you might have to go show a house, right? Yeah. Or Sunday morning things like. Uh, evening hours of work and you talked last episode about mm -hmm. how that can also exhaust you yeah right, that's why you're gonna get exhausted is yeah. because you're gonna be flexible as ever mm -hmm. but number three you said um, what did you tell people was the most important thing number three becoming a precrastinator right so basically which is the opposite of course of procrastination where you just take charge and you act quickly you do the action then, you don't put it off, you don't wait, you don't worry about the errors, the blemishes, you don't worry about is it good enough, you just do it, and I found that when I would just execute, I win. Bam! Bam. That's it, right? Bam. We're out of here. Awesome. Good deal. All right. So that was number three, precrastinator, the act of charging forward right away, whether right it's away. leads, whether it's appointments, whether it's whatever you're going to do, it's charging forward. We absolutely love that. But now we got to give them number four, Kimberly. So what would you say for the top five things for new agents to kick off their career? What would you tell them number four would be? Drink the Kool-Aid. Wow. Of course, you get all the fancy names, right? I mean, we had mentor, flexibility, and then we have pre, like, giving it some character. And then you know who loves character? Me, give it a child. Yeah. All right, so drinking the Kool-Aid. Drinking the Kool-Aid. What the hell does that mean? It means that when top agents, your mentors, individuals on your team, when they inform you of something that works, either works for them or worked for them, you need to give it a try at least once. Okay. So regardless of how well your business is thriving, um, there's always room for growth, especially in our occupation, because the market is, there's always changes and transitions. And so I have had to learn to drink the Kool-Aid. Okay. You know, I take the notes, you know, I get charged up during the meetings, and then I, you know, once we're done meeting, I go back to how I do stuff. And when my you mean what you're saying is, is all right. Let's just slow it down here. All right. Mm -hmm. So you're you decide that you're gonna you're gonna join a team or you're gonna have a mentor that's gonna help you, and that mentor is teaching you something. Yes. So you're 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 taking Giving the notes. Advice. Okay. But then that's when the rubber hits the road. It does. Right. Because you take the notes. You you see it in your notes. Yeah. You heard it. Now yeah. you have to what? Now I gotta pull out the pocketbook. Or now I have to implement, I have to step out of my comfort zone, pocketbook meaning marketing. Well, a pocketbook I'm also going to equate to just it's time, money, effort, yep. no matter what Energy. it is. Because it's either, because either you're 
Because the people say, well, my time is free, but we're working. Yeah, we're working. We're working. Yeah. And then that we, we count whether you're, no matter what you're doing, that counts as total hours worked equals total yeah. income. So then you know what you get paid per hour because you just take what you made and then you have a daily output. Mm -hmm. But so it's time either way, which costs you money because it's yeah. you, time you could be doing something else. Yeah, or working with another client. Or but I mean, how do, you, how do you flip that switch to, I'm, uh, last year I, you know, because we're always happy with what we chose to do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you did, but you didn't get the results you wanted. So now you need mm -hmm. to change what you do because yeah. you want a different result. Yep. Yeah. So how drinking the Kool-Aid, what, like, is that, is that more mindset? You know, I think it's more, it's definitely more mindset, transitioning your mindset even further than just becoming consistent in, in the things that you do, you know. Because, of course, as we stay consistent with things, we get better at them. Um, we get more confident in them, you know. We feel like we begin to perfect those systems. Whereas when you drink the Kool-Aid, you're just trusting in the product or the opinion of what someone may be telling you. And so in this scenario, CBOT team has been doing apple pies at thanksgiving oh no right, 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 hold on pro tip here this right. is this is what you actually did you're going to okay. tell us what drinking the kool-aid overall now you're going to give us an action so what yes. you're saying is the seba team has been doing something over and over again yes. and then every year we're telling you you got to implement this strategy you gotta do it just do it okay you and know? this year you decided to um drink the kool-aid drink the kool-aid awesome drink the Kool -Aid. And so the what does that mean because you make excuses, well, you know, my business, I'm looking at my business plan that we do every year. Well, I only have so much set up, you know, for marketing, or I can do the next one. Or I mean, you make excuses. And so I was like, I need to stop making excuses. And I don't have to do it at a broad level. I just need to do it. You know, it's kind of like how we hate doing videos. They don't have to be perfect. You just have to do them. And so I was like, I picked a certain number and I chose um, clients that I had worked with previously. Okay, so first of all, let's get into this. So um, obviously you're a great agent. So you, when you get clients, you put them in a list. That list is on an Excel spreadsheet or a Google yes. sheet and you call it your- My client database. Your database, okay. Database. So you have a list of database. So yep. now you, you're like, okay, so um, now because you had, already met with some of the clients recently you you mm -hmm. were trying to come up with a strategy to target people you have not talked to in a while exactly all right yes. and now you're saying if it's database it's it's actually a client someone that you did a transaction whether you did a lease with them whether you did a sale with them whether you yeah. did a buy with them you've done a real estate transaction so now you're going to use a proven method which means that Someone you are very close with, someone that you're on the team with, someone that is your mentor, someone that you can say, they did this and they sold more houses because they did mm -hmm. that. Exactly. Like, stop being like, I don't know if that's good enough for me. Yes. Like, yeah. just do it is just, what I heard. Yes. Drinking the Kool-Aid drink means... the Kool-Aid. Okay, so you decide that you're going to do holiday pies. Yes. Right. Yep. So we always like to go with apple pie over Thanksgiving. So you decide you're going to give apple pies. So does that mean you're you're mailing them to their house? Does that like tell us what happened? So what I did was I picked them up from the office, um, and then I devised a schedule and I actually hand delivered them to my clients. Now, did you were you calling them and texting them before you're arriving with their hand delivered pie? I did. I did. So I set up a time frame. Okay. Um, First of all, I would I felt them out, which was a perfect because I connected with them. Whether they wanted the pie or not, I've connected with them again, and I had to. You win no matter what because you're reaching out to yep. old clients. Whether they choose to, get, there's yep. people that said no to apple pie. You some no, nobody said no. Okay, they were out of town, or they, they were, were out of town, okay. or they had already purchased their pies, or whatever, or what have you. So. I called them up. I said, hey, would you like an apple pie? I, and I'm going to drop it by. I'm going to stop by and deliver it. And a lot of them were like, oh, my goodness. Hard for them to say no, right? Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's so great to hear from you. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's so awesome. You're the best. When I do this, I win. Yeah. So I'm like, awesome. So started dropping them off. Awesome, awesome experience. 
Um, and again, because um, you get to re you it basically it's a pop by it for those is. that are bright. I mean, it's it's in that realm of you're doing it to contact them for one, yep. but then second, if you can get face to face with them, then you know you can reconnect and then hopefully. Exactly. So so what has been the what did you get in back for for I mean not that you're supposed to get anything but exactly. what did you, what happened? Well, um, the number one thing is the appreciation. It's just amazing that it's just all about putting forth that effort and just doing the act. Um, just really surprised people and made people happy. I had one client said, oh my goodness, this just made my Thanksgiving. Right. And they didn't even need them. Yeah, they didn't I mean, eat the pie, or, but it was just the effort. And I love that obviously being a realtor is putting our clients first and that mm -hmm. you went to just the appreciation of doing something nice yeah. for people with no expectation in return is just just really yeah. fulfilling as an individual okay yeah. so what, what else happened and then the um the second thing that happened was it was funny because they did shout outs to me on their social media pages that was like awesome because we're always as okay as let's agents. slow this down so so they decide to is it they take a photo with you and them they take a picture of the pie when you mean a shout out what does that mean a shout out means that like on their reel or on their um their um facebook story a couple of them did facebook stories a picture of the pie with caption best realtor ever your clients posted yes. this, and then they tagged you or no? Yes, they tagged me. Oh, of course they did. You know, and then best best realtor ever. Oh, look what my realtor did. And I was like, wow, that was that was pretty cool of them. That is super you cool. You know, and then um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, one one client actually, actually two clients posted the video of their ring bell because their, what? their ring bell. Um, their ring doorbell. Okay. Their ring doorbell. So they had they, a ring doorbell. They videoed me because they weren't. I missed them, and so I was kind of like. I was they crazy. put the vid. Of course, you're goofy. Well, <laughs> no, but goofy's great. Yeah, it's, it's memorable. It keeps us well, we going. Yeah. So, you, so they sent you their ring doorbell. No, they posted it on Facebook. They posted. <laughs> and they were. I've got the coolest realtor ever. Look at her. She's she's in front of my house with the pie dancing at my doorstep, and I was like, oh my goodness. They but Did you was, like bring a box so with cool. music so you could play it so you could dance out front or you just well, getting out of it? Well, when I pressed their doorbell, it had a cute little tune. And so, you, you know, you always feel like people are watching you on, on the ring doorbell. So I just kind of... You know they watch me. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, but it was, it was just so, it was so cool. I'm oh. like, I don't even have to look for content this week. Yes. Right. You know? Wow. So, okay. It was so, awesome. but what, so... That was, um, only this, that was the second. Okay, like, well, I'm going to be the realtor, So, but did you get any referrals? I did. How many? I did. I got, I got four referrals what? just out of that two days of dropping off pies. Yeah, baby. Well, That's pretty awesome. it's clearly to see why Kimberly Child is an outstanding agent, putting her clients first. And doing deals, so eleven deals the first quarter. Like, how does yes, that feel? Like, you're 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 you're, you're, great. you're you're off to an amazing start. So, and you know what? And I'm gonna say half of them. Well, so you figure eleven out of the eleven, four of those transactions were referrals. You know, well, from, everybody loves a referral. So. You know, I mean, from previous clients. Well, but so, that's why you're delivering pies to right. previous clients, because then they don't have to ask who you are. They don't yeah. have to, there's none of that. It's more like, oh my God, I forgot she's the best. I need to refer to somebody else because they're seeing lots of Definitely. people during the holiday season. Definitely. Kimberly, thank you for downloading your knowledge. Is there anything that you would like to add? When I do all of this, I win. Nice. So. Let's take that to the bank. So happy Thursday, Kimberly Child, number four, drinking the Kool-Aid. If you're looking to have, or if you're looking for the top five things for you to have a great start to your new career, please listen to Kimberly Child. Happy Thursday, Agent Truth, The Solution. I'm Jeff Seabach, Kimberly Child.